So you have this folder with thousands of weird unfinished projects. Well, yeah. I've been there. Now, I found a way to eliminate this bad behavior by learning these five productivity tips in FL Studio. The first one is using a different startup template. You can actually create a project in FL and load up your most used VSTs, and you can drag in samples that you use a lot, and then you already did your sound selection for future projects. This obviously doesn't mean you have to use these sounds every time, but you can start working on your patterns right away without worrying about the sounds. Then when your loop is done, simply change the sounds by dragging another one on top of it. You know, it's that simple. Now, to make this project load up next time you open up FL, go to File on top and choose Save as Template. Give it a name and click the check icon. Next, go to the Options on top and then General Settings. Find Miscellaneous and on the bottom, you can choose a startup project. In this list, you should find the project you just saved. Now, when you start FL Studio, this project will load up. Number two, Mixer Templates. Let's say you have an effect chain that works extremely well for you and you want to save it as a preset. You can do that by simply right-clicking the mixer track, going to file and then choose save mixer track state as. Now you can give it a name, for example trap melodies and save it. Next time, right-click the mixer and go to file. Now your preset will be right here in this list and even the color of your mixer will be saved. I mean, that is awesome. Number three, use the information that's out there. And in fact, I have a free download for you guys. This is an infograph and it contains years of musical experience all on one page. Powerful chord progressions, amazing scales and a frequency cheat sheet that will help you create amazing mixes. I mean, how awesome is that? And if you want to learn music from the pros, you can get a free trial to the Mix Elite membership. You know what? I'll leave a link for you guys down below. Trick number four. With this one, I created a MIDI kit without even realizing. So imagine you're making a beat and you've just created this awesome chord progression. Now, before you finish the project, hit Ctrl plus Shift plus M on your keyboard. This way you can save it as a MIDI file. Now, next time you can just drag it in the piano roll and there you go, a chord progression in just a few clicks. I mean, if you do this for 20 projects, you have 20 chord progressions and that is really productive. Which brings us to trick number five. So you have this insanely big plugin list. I, I feel you. You can't really find the plugin you're looking for and you've already wasted a minute, which doesn't sound like a lot, but yeah. You can actually right click the plus icon in the channel rack and this will open up the plugin picker. You can now just type in whatever you need and there you go. Simply throw it in the channel rack. There you go. Trick number six, making different arrangements in your project. In the playlist, we usually have one arrangement. Now, what most producers don't know is that you can easily create another arrangement by clicking on arrangement and then choosing add one. This will basically create a second playlist. You can now create a second production right here and you can simply switch back by clicking on arrangement again and there you go. That's extremely productive. Next we're gonna learn how to make a trap beat from start to finish using these tricks and you can learn everything about that in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.